express my uh, sincere thanks to uh, Pakistan China Institute, uh, to my old friend, Senator uh, Rajahid Hussain, for hosting this uh, very important uh, uh, video conference on BRI. Uh, as Mustafa mentioned, that, uh, I would like to uh, use this opportunity to share with you uh, some of my thoughts uh, on the importance of uh, uh, a people to people connectivity. <clears throat> it gives me great uh, pleasure to attend the International Conference on the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI for short. I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you some of my thoughts about Chinese NGOs' contribution uh, to the Belt and Road Initiative after COVID 19 hit the world. In the past seven years since it was put forward, thanks to the joint efforts of the countries along the Belt and Road, the initiative has become a widely popular global public good, providing an open and inclusive platform for international cooperation. As an important part and the cultural foundation of the initiative, the people-to-people -people connectivity has yielded fruitful results. Chinese NGOs have made unremitting efforts to promote the people-to-people -people connectivity, carrying out various forms of cooperation with overseas partners in such areas as the cultural exchange and the people's livelihood. These efforts have effectively promoted integration <clears throat> and mutual understanding among peoples of different civilizational backgrounds and enhance people's sense of participation, gain, and happiness in contributing to the Belt and Road Initiative. As COVID-19 has affected more than 200 countries and regions with over 11 million cases worldwide, the humanities are faced with the biggest public health crisis since World War II. The virus poses a serious threat to the lives and health of people across the world, deals a heavy blow to the world economy, and brings many challenges to the advancement of the Belt and Road Initiative. Nonetheless, the efforts of promoting the initiative press ahead, playing an important role in combating COVID-19 in terms of policy coordination, facilities connectivity, and impeded trade and financial integration. People of many countries are also calling for strengthening cooperation in fighting against COVID-19 and enhancing people-to-people -people connectivity. In response, upholding the principle of solidarity and the togetherness, Chinese and U.S. strive to carry out international cooperation to contain the virus, providing people in other countries with assistance within their best capacity. The joint action for defeating the COVID-19 Silk Road Community Initiative building is case in point. So far, more than 60 Chinese uh, NGOs have conducted over 100 international cooperation projects in more than 60 countries, held over 40 online events of experience sharing, and donated materials worth 192 million yuan. The Silk Road NGO Cooperation Network and the Chinese Association for International Understanding have respectively joined hands with over 300 member organizations and 166 youth from 55 countries to launch initiatives calling for international solidarity in fighting COVID-19. Though from different civilizational backgrounds, people are connected by the same goal of promoting health and development. They exchange their feelings, learn from each other, and explore different models of social governance, forging deep bond of friendship and deepening understanding of the Belt and Road Initiative in the process. China's President Xi Jinping delivered a written address to the high-level video conference on Belt and Road Initiative cooperation in June, stating China will work with its partners to develop the Belt and Road into a model of cooperation, health recovery, and growth. His course not only represents the voice of the Chinese people, but also chart the course for Chinese NGOs' participation in contributing to the Belt and Road Initiative. Given our own strengths 
and experience in international cooperation, Chinese NGOs will do more in the fighting against the COVID-19 and in aftermath. My organization, Chinese Association for International Understanding, is committed to promoting exchanges and mutual learning among different uh, countries, so as to deepen mutual understanding among different peoples. It, is, it stands ready to carry out long-term civilizational dialogues and, the pra and the practical cooperation with all sides, so as to enhance the people-to-people -people connectivity, contribute to the Belt and Road Initiative, and help promote the economic development and social stability of relevant countries. I hereby put forward the following suggestions. First, deepening international cooperation in the fight against the COVID-19 through promotion exchanges, through promoting exchanges and the mutual learning among peoples with the different civilizational backgrounds. Throughout the history, Throughout the history of civilization, the humanity has fought against the disease one after another. The year 2020 is an euro in history because of, of COVID-19. This epidemic demonstrates that in the era of globalization, all people on the planet are interconnected and building a community of a shared future for mankind represents the right direction for the development and the progress of human society. Joint efforts in the fight against uh, COVID-19 is an important part of the community of shared future for mankind. We should conduct in-depth dialogues among different civil countries, seek consensus and find areas of cooperation. Cooperating to fight the epidemic should continue to be our top priority. Based on the previous experience and the lessons, we should work together to win the global battle against the virus, making our planet a healthier and a safer place to live on. Second, improving the well-being of the people through promoting exchanges and mutual learning among nations with different uh, civilizational backgrounds. The pursuit of happy lives is the, last, is the lasting force that promotes the progress of human civilization. Exploring the path towards happiness constitutes an important part of exchanges and mutual learning among us. People across the world share the dreams of better education, more secure jobs, higher incomes, more reliable social security, better medical and health service, more comfortable housing conditions, and a more beautiful production and living environments. Based on the platform of exchanges and the mutual learning among different countries, we should call to attention the, the improvement of people's well-being among uh, governments, political parties, and different sectors of society. By sharing experience, resolving differences, and coming up with solutions in an equal and candid manner, we can constantly bring more resources and strength in our pursuit of common dreams. Third, facilitating harmonious coexistence through promoting exchanges and mutual learning among countries with different civilizational backgrounds. Civilization is the foundation of values and the root of ideas. Exchanges and mutual learning among countries can help replace hostility and confrontation with dialogue and understanding so as to better safeguard world peace and stability. It can help expand the consensus and promote stability and sound development of the global economy and the culture so as to achieve common prosperity and progress. It can help promote the reform for more democratic international relations and a better global governance system by the international community. We should promote mutual respect and harmonious coexistence of different uh, nations through all kinds of practical actions, building the bridge of friendship among people of different countries, the driving force for the progress of human society and the bond of world peace. Let's join hands in promoting the exchanges and the mutual learning among peoples of different civilizational background and enhancing people-to-people -people connectivity 
so as to contribute to the Belt and Road Initiative and benefit people of all countries. I thank you.